Bohr-Rutherford diagram of Krypton. Okay. You'll notice that Krypton is at the end of the fourth period. By the time you get past calcium, Bohr-Rutherford diagrams 2882 rule, like the way you probably originally learned to do them, is no longer in fashion. It doesn't work. By the time you get to scandium and beyond, you have to think about where the electrons are going. The electrons in the first row go in the first shell, second row, third, second shell, third row, third shell. These two electrons go to the fourth shell, and then you're going to have to backtrack and add electrons to the third before continuing with the fourth. So it's a little complicated, but we'll get through it. Let's start the Bohr-Rutherford diagram in the classic way. Krypton, 36 protons, 84 minus 36 which is what, uh, 48 neutrons? Let's do it. 36 protons, 48 neutrons, all in the nucleus. Beautiful nucleus. First shell, second shell, third shell, fourth shell. All right. How are we going to fill this up? The first 20 electrons are as you expect. Two in the first shell, eight in the second. That's all the second shell can hold. Eight in the third, and two in the fourth. That's 20 electrons. This is isoelectronic with calcium, but by the time you get there, you need to put the next 10 electrons into the third shell. It's just the way it is. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten extra electrons all on the third circle. That takes us all the way to here, but we need to get to Krypton. Krypton has one, two, three, four, five, six extra electrons, and they go into the 4p. Well, 4p is the subshell. It's the fourth energy level. So I go to my fourth circle. One, two, three, four, five, six extra electrons. That looks like a full loader shell. And it satisfies the octet rule with having eight electrons in its outer shell. But spoiler alert, once you create a fifth outer shell and put electrons there, the fourth shell can hold more. That's the way it is. I think it can hold like 32 or something. So the Bohr-Rutherford diagram of Krypton has the protons and neutrons in the center, as always, two electrons in the first shell, eight in the second, 18 in the third, and eight in the fourth. In case you're wondering, yes, there was a spoiler on my personal periodic table here. It says Krypton is two, eight, 18, and eight. Oh, well, good thing we know how to use the periodic table, am I right? There's your Bohr-Rutherford diagram. Boom. Best of luck.